Okay, so I got my glasses. Okay, okay. Let me tell you. Talk to me what I need. Aisha, I turned that chair around and she seen me. You should have seen her face drop. Like I ruined her whole life. So I'm trying to ask her, like, um, what's the problem? What did I do to you? She goes, bitch, I um, I don't think about you. You dead to me. Like she started going off. I'm so damn loud too. Oh my god. I just to like, How loud was she telling me? Showing. So damn loud. Looking like a frog in a wig. So damn loud. <laughs> That lip girl, she is so damn just extra. Extra. She started banging her hands, flopping them all around, <laughs> banging the table, but I gave it to her. Oh, Lord. Because, you know, people think they're crazy until they meet somebody else that's crazy in them. I don't know. I think she low key is very jealous of you, and she feels like and you're then getting she gets old. Saying, oh, you're not humble. You're not humble. No, bitch, I am humble. And the problem with her is that she's not humble. She's jealous of my humbleness. So that even made me even more mad. I wanted to smack the shit out of her, Aisha. Like, I wanted to grab that wig and just twirl her ass around the room. Do you think our age crosses the line when it comes to Navarro? Every day. Anais and, and her bull gotta go. There's too much drama and too much going on. Money. Aisha, I can't drop her though. She's very talented. Mm -hmm. Navarro really wants to work with her. I'm gonna give it one more chance. Well, maybe I need to turn up on her so Navarro can let her ass go. I'm gonna try to make it work one more time. I'm gonna apologize for my behavior, which I'm really not sorry about, but I'm gonna be the bigger person to apologize. Anyway, enough about her.